דידר הוא צייר עם סיפור חיים יוצא דופן. הוא הגיע לארץ מהולנד, התמקם בעיר התחתית בחיפה, ומאתר בציוריו היפים את הקירות ברחובות העיר, להנאתם של התושבים ועוברי האורח. באחד מביקוריי בעיר התחתית בחיפה, התהלכתי ברחוב יפו, ולפתע, כמו בחלום, נתקלתי בציור קיר צבעוני שכבש את עיניי. אמרתי בליבי, אם יש ציור אחד, ודאי יש עוד, ואכן צדקתי. לאחר תחקיר ובילוש הצלחתי להיפגש עם הצייר. Well, I was, uh, I lived in an orphanage as a little boy, and my parents were gone, and when I made a picture, I got attention. So how more pictures I made, how more attention I got. So I made more and more and more, and it became my profession. And in what age uh, did you begin to paint? Uh, I would say four, five, six years old. Yes? Yeah. And I never stopped. Uh, I was living in Tel Aviv, and I was tired of Tel Aviv. It was too big and too noisy, and I decided I like to go to Haifa. It's a smaller town, it's a big village. So in the lonely planet, I saw the word Haifa. And I thought, I'm a Dutchman, and Haifa sounds like high five. <laughs> I thought, that's such a nice name, I'm going to go to that city. So I went to the planet, lonely planet, and they recommended the port in as the best hostel. So I said, I'll go to the port in. So I got here, and this wall was all gray. So I went to the owner, she said, could you paint that wall? I said, sure. And we decided to paint a map of Haifa. But what it really is, it's an old map of Haifa, and you can see all the landmarks. Well, we have the courthouse, the government building, the, the temple, the porthouse, the German colony, the Baha temple, the hospital, the train, the big bubbles that go up to the hill, uh, the, the fire, the light tower. All the landmarks are in there, so the tourist can say, huh, where shall I go today? And then I put the Baha temple in the middle, because they said respect all religion. And I kind of like that. What is this gate? Well, the wall, this wall starts here, and I thought if people like to get married or have a party, uh -huh. would it be nice if they would stand here for a picture? This is Puma. He's a very, very good dog. And he lives here, and he is part of the Portin guest house. And it's a very good dog, he's getting very, very old. And this wall makes the neighborhood a little bit prettier and more fun for the eye. יצאנו מהמלון, ופיטר הוביל אותנו לראות את ציורי הקיר שלו ברחובות. This is actually the whole wall, it's called the Patira Street. And it was really bad for many, many years ago. Yes. It was abandoned. It looked just terrible. And the owner from the port inn, Zef, and me got together. And he donated the paint and the brushes. And I donated my talent to make it pretty. So it's donated by Peter and the wolf. This was already in the wall. And to use it, I put diamonds in there, like jewelry. And I thought it's kind of pretty this way. And this one, this, this street is the Patira Street. That's from a boat. Uh -huh. By accident, it got sunken, that's for the Patria. So it's an honor for Patria. Peter Mreit, Ziorim Nosafim, Shetzier Berechov Patria. Remember the Baha temple? Yes. Respect all religion? Yes. So we have here symbols from all religion. Okay? It's an antique store. See? Antiques. And it says respect all religion. Now this wall is already almost four years old. Yes. People having a good time, 
Uh -huh. So something fun for the eye. And, and inside the, this uh, wall is nothing? Nothing. Junk. This used to be an antique store. And this lady, she is now, I believe, 85. And she is in a wheelchair, so she can't sell anymore. But she used to sit in that chair with the back to the traffic. And then you had to walk up, talk to her, and she would sell you some antiques. But she's not doing it anymore. And it's part of the antique store. So when she is here, this goes up, and then it's all antiques. Marianne Abira. She's a waitress that works there. And those two people are the founders from the restaurants. They're not here anymore. They died. That's why we put them on a the wall there. They're the ex, ex owner, the first owners. When I finished the big one at the Port Inn, Port Inn Guest House, the owner saw the painting and she said, well, why don't we make this pretty too? Because it was kind of with tax again. So I decided together to make this more fun for the eye. And children and kids like it. They have parties here. And it looks so much better. You have to see it. I wish you could see it before and after. It's a big difference. In the 60s, it was very popular to travel. And when you travel, you need money. Yes. So I decided that those are my tools and they always go with me. So when I find a nice hotel in India or Israel, like the Porting Guest House, or wherever I am, America, I would show my work and I would say, if that wall is blank, I'll be happy to make a nice wall. If we work out a deal, I'll stay here. Then we'll work something out. So I made with all the owners of every hotel in the world. And that's my talent, that's my passion. And that made me possible to travel all over the world. Uh, she's the receptionist from the Port Inn guest house. Her name is Marsha, but I call her eye candy. I like the way she looks. She looks like a very strong woman. I find her very, very pretty. And I needed a strong woman that, that understands the concept of meditation, going within, being quiet. So she sits in a lotus and in the front of her hand she's presenting flowers that stand for love. So what we have is love, light and peace. And uh, here is the earth, and the next title would be Mother Earth, or I Candy in the Sky with Diamonds, or Marsha is Meditating, whatever. When I came here in Israel, like uh, eight months ago, I started walking downtown, I started to see like uh, very beautiful pictures in the walls, and I was just like, wow, who is this person who's painted all these beautiful things? And uh, yeah, and uh, after a while I met him and now we're working together. It's like something amazing. Yatsanu mi malon port in bargasha 